New York may be facing the worst flu season on record. With more than 17,000 new flu cases confirmed just last week, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says nationwide a second wave of flu is hitting the country. And they're urging people to take action. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. Northern Westchester Hospital, the flu prevention protocol is in full force. Dozens of people with flu have visited the emergency room. Associate Director Herbert Balsells says so far this month, 17 flu cases were severe enough to require a hospital stay, many with somewhat atypical symptoms. Nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain, uh, in addition to fever, but not the typical fever, body aches, cough, runny nose. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say a second wave of flu is making for a very nasty season, and it's been particularly tough on children. At this time now, we've already had 92 deaths in the U.S., pediatric deaths. The Westchester Health Commissioner says that's almost triple last year's pediatric death toll for the same period. She says it's important for parents to enforce good hand hygiene and urges everyone to get a flu shot. It's not perfect protection, but remember. People who've had a flu shot may go on to develop the flu, but they're less likely to have the severe complications including death. The state health department says New York has seen almost 107,000 confirmed flu cases so far this season with three flu-associated pediatric deaths. Concern about this second wave of flu has the local health department extending flu shot clinics through the end of February, something it hasn't done in many years. In Mount Kisco, Westchester County, Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.